it's winter which means that plants should be slowing down however some of mine are really doing their best to push out new leaves yo eyes oh that strips oh i'm gonna share some of that growth today with you because it's a little positive for the other things that are kind of dying that's not a problem for now that's a problem for spring when we buy new ones we're going to start with some smaller ones that i keep in my little greenhouse box okay i want to start with an anthurium i never show you any anthuriums so let's start with an anthurium oh that one is cutie <gasps> cutie this one right here is an anthurium forgetii it's supposed to be the dark form it's a cutie i got it from adansoniaia and it has grown two leaves for me which are these cutie ones in the middle so it didn't have a lot of veins before and it's still not fully veiny yet but it's getting there slowly and it's it's really 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 pretty this leaf i think has died off oh, okay well it's growing in moss and i should transfer it to soil probably and yes they're slowly closing the sinus you can see that there is still there is a lot of space between these two flaps right here and then on the newest leaf there is really no space and it's starting to close and it has to has the closed sinus okay i keep it in this box just like this other anthurium oh my god okay this one is very fun before i show you it i transferred this from my small tiny terrarium into a separate pot in this big one let's just see what it did oh so this is anthurium crystallinum it's just the normal green one not the dark one it's growing a crazy root is really really cute it's not huge but we started out with these very very tiny ones this is the smallest plant i got and i just shoved it in my terrarium and uh it's doing fine i actually need to add a little more soil to cover this root y'all are going to love these next ones uh philodendrons melanocrysums obviously at this point y'all know that i love these these are just two pots this one has a few plants you can see there's a few tiny ones they have just been grown like this this one has support why this is why the leaves are getting bigger and oh my god and then this one doesn't look at these aerials though it should give them some kind of support or propagate them because this is just crazy but uh i don't feel like doing it right now and they're doing very well in this box they're so dark they're so full and they're so lush and they look so beautiful this one i need to show you particularly because the leaves are actually bigger than i ever got on my small monochrysum oh no how did i forget i used to have a small monochrysum grown from one leaf is this oh my god you know what i think so when i bought my monstera albo i got a one leaf cutting of a monochrysum it was probably what it was like this size it was tiny and i put it in a little terrarium and i just got it to grow maybe six leaves and then i propagated it and i think that these are all the propagations from that one tiny plant maybe half a year later this is probably the top cutting judging by the size of the leaves this one has strips but i still want to show it to you okay e it's full of strips but this is my philodendron nangartiansi it's tiny not looking the best at the moment this one i'm very excited about because this is my philodendron gloriosum that i got a year and something ago and now it's growing in lecca and it's doing so well because literally this is the newest leaf that i just got a few weeks ago and isn't it kind of insane like i know it's still tiny and i know it looks a little bit sun bleached it's not it's actually perfect health but this is the other leaves they have been tripsy at some point this one is not doing the best but the full plant is already matured as you can see the stem does not have the sheaths yet anymore uh, with the, the 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 leaf things anymore and the roots the roots are also insane and this is just the kind of setup that i have is just this nutrient water with some fertilizer uh and i just have it in lekka and it's doing so amazing i love how this is turning out but i do need some larger growth but i do want to show you my pink princess i don't know if y'all have seen this already this is my health moon pink princess that i had in my terrarium and it's just giving me this newest leaf which is kind of crazy that you get this first and then this is the second one it's okay though i think it's very pretty i hope it survives but it looks very very cute just look at this it's so cute oh my god i don't know why i'm showing you this but you see this plant right here 
yeah this is anthurium hookery i have a propagation of it right here <laughs> it's so cute and tiny i just wanted to show you that this 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 is the same plant and these leaves are obviously massive but it's so cute and little and tiny if i showed you the small one i can also show you the large one it's giving me this new leaf since it's been propagated and saved from rotting and now these are all the new roots that it has only in nutrient water uh please look at this amazing root oh my god the colors this one i show you so many videos but again the lanternero is giving me yet another leaf with this being its last and this one before which is very huge and beautiful to see on camera this plant has grown so much in six months it's literally insane but it's that actual the right vibe that i need okay what else is growing in here there's a lot there's actually a lot oh this one is actually really good okay so i've had this one for quite some time and i've seen some sport variegation on it and i think every leaf since that first one has had at least a speck of sport variegation uh and now it's crazy because it's growing so many new babies. Okay, uh, Alocasia Silver Dragon Sport Variegated. I don't think you can see the Sport Variegation. However, I can promise you it's there. But it's giving me a new leaf. And this is winter. Plus all these little babies on the bottom. And look at this. They just keep popping up. And they never, I don't think they ever survive really. Because they just start going like brown at the base. I don't know how that really happens, but it's just a bit crazy and I have to save another one. They grow so fast, but this one is literally just in some light up with some nutrient solution. And it's very, very good looking. Like this colors, this latest leaf though. And speaking about alocasias, it did so well on the thumbnail for the last time. Maybe I'll do it again. The same plant. This is alocasia capria. Yeah, that's a little crazy that this kind of coloration is happening. If I put this up here. Oh, yes. Look at this coloration. And it's it's a bit crazy because some older leaves are also like red. And this one is just green. And this one is this interesting color. And then this new one is just really gotten really, really big, really fast. And it's just something special. It's really alien-like. It's, it's really crazy. Okay. And worry not because I also have another one. Same plant. This is Alocasia capria. This one also has a new leaf, but this one is not as red. But yeah, this is the same species. Same species, same conditions basically, but from two different mother plants. And that's just what they do. We got two Alocasia caprias, now I got two philodendrons for you. Okay. Now, uh, the first one, the first Biliatiae that I'm gonna show you with this newer tiny leaf. It's not really going anywhere, but it's alive, so that's okay. And this is a top cutting of this one that I have put in like a, some time ago. Look at this new leaf. Hello. So, okay. First of all, I did a repotting on this. I did repotting on my channel and I repotted this and then the Gloriosa that you saw. And, oh, and then these. Actually, the, the Caprias that you just saw. I repotted them and they all survived. And this one has grown incredible roots throughout this pot. Some are maybe deader, but it's okay. Because th this, come on, come on. Tell me this doesn't look absolutely incredible. I think this leaf wants to go in the back. But we don't have space for that, okay? So that would be it. And that would be the like the bottom of the plant. The And this would be the top. As we can see, this one is much more beautiful. <sighs> My ring of fire hasn't done the best. Yet, a new leaf is right here. Um, Hasn't opened yet. Let's help it. Let's help it. That's really good for the plant. It's not. Okay, good news. No variegation, but we do have thrifts in the new leaf. So that's a really good sign. It's dry once again. When isn't this dry? Oh my god. <gasps> I just noticed this. That's not even possible. I haven't planned for this. I, I swear, this leaf just came out today. I haven't seen this yet. Cebu Blue. 
I've had this for maybe half a year or more and it's giving me basically nothing like this leaf has been here for months and now we have a tiny new leaf that's so cute I almost threw this plant away mm, maybe I should water it sometimes <laughs> that's insane that's insane I didn't see this coming here's another pretty one that I haven't shown you in a long time so some leaves are obviously not pretty but then we have these okay syngonium elbow I don't know if I said this no um and we have a new leaf right here look at these colors look how bright it is it's also dry this is this should be dead this is so dry okay now this i don't know if there has been a video without this plant y'all know y'all know oh. and yes it survived this moss pole extension okay we all know and love my monochrysum and this leaf was grown by me <laughs> And now we have a new one. We have a new one. This is so good. And oh my God, it's a bit dry. I have to wash it. The leaves are obviously not perfect as you can see, but honestly, it's all fine because if you look from far enough, it looks really, really good. <laughs> Two more plants and then I promise I'm done. This is my terrarium. You can see absolutely nothing in there. So the leaf that you can see right here is Monstera, I think, Sprusiana. Now, this is, I love this species. It's the first Velvet Monstera I've ever heard of, and they fenestrate really beautifully, but they still, I think, keep some of their velvetiness. And I got this as a one-leaf cutting with no new growth. I got two leaves and one died. And this one I just stuck in this terrarium. I didn't even know it's in there. And one day I just see a tiny leaf that is now hidden in the shadows but it just gave me the second leaf a few weeks ago and it's so so cute and velvety and everything is here and is really growing so i'm gonna maybe one day depot some stuff in here and show you a full tour of it why not if i drop this i'm gonna cry it's time for the last one this one is really this one is really this one gets very special treatment because of its value and rarity and my philodendron orange princess. I'm just gonna take it out for you. You don't see this every day, do you? My philodendron orange princess. I'm going to make a video about this, but they are so lovely. You can see variegation on these older leaves and this newer ones, not so much, but I promise you that there definitely are lines and speckles and it's not as crazy colored as I would want it to be. Maybe some more orange wouldn't hurt you know but it's rooted actually sorry i'm trying to take this out without dropping it the roots on this are either really good or really bad so these could all be rotten but the plant is growing and it's surviving and this leads me to believe that this is still a really healthy plant with the conditions i give it it should be a really healthy plant these newer leaves are so thick like compared to these old ones like I don't understand but yes this is the last entry for this video just show it up close once again so that's it i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye bye